I used the Muse headband for a year. Muse devices. The Muse S device. The Muse S. Muse S. And I documented the results. Muse 2 headband. Muse 2. Muse. M U S E. My personal results with this headband blew my mind. And in this video, I'll be sharing with you the exact protocol that I have used with the Muse headband and the result of using this headband consistently for a year. Now, if you're somebody who meditates consistently or you're trying to get into meditation for the first time, then listen up. My name is Jay, I'm an osteopathic medical doctor and I have been meditating relatively consistently for about four years. And last year, I was introduced to the Muse headband and my first impression was, I don't need some expensive headband to meditate. Meditation is supposed to be just sitting quietly and observing your thoughts. And if I add some fancy technology to it, I'm just going to ruin it. But I like to be the best at whatever I'm doing. And if this headband could improve my meditation practice, then it was worth a shot. So what is the Muse headband and what does it do? Well, the Muse meditation headband is a brain sensing headband designed to assist users in their meditation practice. It works by providing real-time feedback on the user's mental activity, heart rate, breathing, body movements, and this can help guide and improve meditation techniques. The Muse headband uses EEG sensors to detect the electrical activity of the brain. Now, this technology is similar to what is used in medical EEG tests, but simplified for consumer use. The headband measures brain activity and provides feedback based on these measurements. And during a meditation session, the Muse app, which pairs with the headband, translates the user's brain signals into guiding sounds. For example, when the mind is calm and focused, the user might hear peaceful weather sounds. But if the mind starts to wander or becomes active, the sounds will change accordingly, signaling the user to refocus. Now, Muse headband also monitors heart rate, which can be a useful indicator of relaxation levels. And by tracking heart rate variability, the device can give insights into the user's stress levels and overall relaxation state. The headband can also track breathing patterns and body movements, and this helps to understand how physical aspects are linked with mental states during meditation. And after each session, the Muse app provides a report on the user's performance, including aspects like how long the user was in a state of calm, how often they had to refocus, etc. This data allows users to track their progress over time and see how their meditation practice is evolving. But does it actually work? Now, there are some studies that say that it does, but it's too new to say for sure on how much better the Muse is compared to regular meditation. So instead of citing studies that I'm not confident about, I'm just gonna tell you about my personal experience. But before I do, let's talk about some studies that I am confident about. A Harvard study found that mindfulness meditation can lead to increased gray matter density in the hippocampus, known to be important for learning and memory, and in structures associated with self-awareness, compassion, and introspection. And reduced gray matter density was also found in the amygdala, which plays an important role in anxiety and stress. A 2014 study published in JAMA Internal Medicine that reviewed over 18,000 citations concluded that mindfulness meditation programs had moderate evidence in reducing anxiety, depression, and pain. A study conducted by Catherine McLean and colleagues in 2010 found that intensive meditation training led to improvements in attention and the ability to keep focus, especially in high stress. A 2018 study published in Frontiers in Psychology found that people who have been meditating for decades have higher amounts of unfolded brain matter in their brain. This suggests that long-term meditation might protect against age-related decline in brain volume. So yeah, meditation is good. We know that for sure based on extensive scientific literature. But is the Muse headband better than meditation without the Muse headband? Well, after meditating for years without any technology, I have noticed my emotional control to have improved and my ability to concentrate. But honestly, I don't know to what degree. And I don't know because I was not measuring these things. And there's an old quote from William Thompson that I love. It says, if you cannot measure it, you cannot improve it. So if you are like me and you are actually wanting to continue to get better at something, then you have to add quantifiable metrics to track. And the Muse headband gives you these metrics and tells you if you are improving over time or staying stagnant. 
Now, I have noticed significant improvement in my meditation abilities over the course of the year. And during that year, I was using Muse consistently. The user interface makes it really easy for you to see how successful you were during any specific practice and also gives you trends in your practice over the course of time. This way, when you get done with a session, you can make changes and adapt based on the results. Now, the second reason my Muse has been a game changer for me in my practice is for accountability and enjoyment. I used to hate meditating because frankly, it was boring and there was nobody telling me to do it. The Muse headband gamifies meditation and I use the biofeedback modules every night. For those of you that don't know what biofeedback is, it is an absolute game changer. Let's learn about it. The Muse headband detects your heart rate or your respiratory rate, both of which go up in states of stress. And then it plays sounds faster and louder as your heart rate increases so that you can make adjustments to your thought patterns and your breathing, and you can bring your heart rate back down. Now this gamified meditation experience actually makes it fun to practice your meditation. You also tend to learn a lot about your body through these exercises, like this position or this thought pattern causes me stress and causes my heart rate to go up. I also feel accountable to meditate every day so that I can keep up my streaks within the app and I find myself meditating more consistently. So the golden question, is the Muse meditation headband actually worth it? So with a price tag of $400 for the Muse S, it might not be right for everybody. If you're just getting started with meditation and you don't have a budget to spend, then you might want to consider starting with a free app like Calm or Headspace. But if you're a little more experienced or you're like me and you want to go all in on something because you believe in it, then I think it's a no brainer investment. The Muse gets me to actually meditate when I otherwise wouldn't and it helps me actually improve my practice. Now Muse was kind enough to give me a discount code that you can use to save a few bucks on your Muse meditation headband. Now the coupon code and link to purchase is in the description. I would also love to hear your thoughts. Now, although Muse is a sponsor and I do have an affiliate link, this is a product that I use every day. I'm only making a video on it because I fully believe in it. But I'd also love to know your experience. Is this something that you're using right now? What do you love about it? What do you hate about it? Please drop that info in the comments. And if you found this video valuable at all, you're going to buy a Muse. Please like this video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I love talking about biohacking and living a healthy life. So thank you for joining me on this channel and I'll see you in the next video.